Jesus calls us all not to mount of our lives one restless Day by day a sweet voice soundeth saying, Christian, follow me. Jesus calls us from the worship of the vain world's golden stall. From each idol that will keep us saying, Christian, love me more. In our joys and in our sorrows, days of toil and hours of years, still he calls in cares and pleasures that we love him more than these. Jesus calls us by thy mercies, save young, make us hear thy call, give our heart to thy obedience, save and love thee most of to the holy esteem, the height and in the dirt be praised in all his words most wonderful most surely in all his ways love that flesh and blood which did in our dumb fail should strive afresh against the foe should strive and should prevail Generous love that he who smote in man for man, the foe, the double gone in, in man for man, should undergo. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Today, we thank the good Lord for bringing us together once again to praise his holy name and to worship him in songs of praise, in hymns of praise, and of thanksgiving. We thank the good Lord that
we can reach you at this time in your homes so that you can join this wonderful spiritual exercise dubbed stories and scriptures behind the hymns. We are grateful to our sponsors, PH Foods, for all their support to us and also for Legacy Foods. We pray that God's grace will continue to abound in your lives as they support the kingdom business with their sponsorship. To set the ball rolling, we sing the hymn Ancient Modern 197. The King of Love, my shepherd is. This hymn is a request of Mother Esther Rosa Na Ashoko Lamti for Ian Ajay, Mayhew, and Melody Lamti, all domiciled in the USA. It is also for Na Yeye and her family in the UK. It is for Baba Aqua, Baba Ejinwa Aqua, who is celebrating her birthday, the first anniversary of her birth. The hymn is also requested for Lali Kwao and Zoe Christine Na Ameli Drumo Anum. Beloved, David the shepherd boy had known the Lord as his shepherd. Such knowledge of God was apt and intimate because his experiences as a shepherd boy made him appreciate deep love and care and selfless service. So as a psalmist, David had grown to know the love and care that God gives to those who trust in him. Which is why in Psalm 23 verse 1, David declares, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In the hymn 197, Sir H. W. Baker shares the sentiments of the psalmist as he writes, The king of love my shepherd is. Let us join the chorus affirming the love and care and protection of the almighty God as we sing the king of love my shepherd is.
grace bestoweth, and hope was transport of delight from thy pure chalice Shepherd divine, our wounds relieve. Ancient and modern 248 is a request of Dean Emeritus, the, Venera, the very Reverend Jehoshaphat Ateukwe, for the spiritual upliftment of Venerable Dr. Joseph Lanquil Lamti and Mother Esther Rosalamti. It is also for the spiritual support of the Reverend Father Obed Kwao and Mother Jocelyn Kwao, and indeed the entire parishness of St. Barnabas Anglican Church Usu near the castle. Shepherd divine our wounds relief. The name and attributes of God resonate with love and protection and kindness. As a shepherd, God is not only a guide, but also a caregiver. Aware of the deep love of God for humankind, Jacob, wrestling in prayer before the Lord, said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Genesis 32:26. Charles Wesley, the hymn writer, re-echoes the words of Republican Jacob, I will not let you go unless you tell me your name, appealing to the blessings of God. Today, we too invoke the name of God, which resonates with blessings as we sing the hymn, Shepherd Divine, our wounds relieve. Yeah. 
presence of God, there is joy, the fullness of joy, and we shall not leave his presence until he blesses us. And this takes us to the hymn, Ancient Morning 391. Onward, Christian soldiers marching us to war. It is a request of Ni Udwe Soa for Prince Lamte and the last man standing. The Christian faith is a warfare. It is likened to soldiers marching on the battlefield. In this warfare, Christ is a royal master. Christ is the general who leads us to fight against the devil and all he offers. With Christ as our royal master, with Christ as our general, we are then encouraged to fight the spiritual battle victoriously, inspired by scripture in Deuteronomy 31 and verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. The hymn writer Baron Gold, reflecting on the scripture, also encourages us in the words of the hymn, Ancient and More Than 391, onward, Christian soldiers marching us to war. Onward, Christian soldiers marching us to war. With the cross of Shout of praise, brothers, fix your voices, loud your mountains raise. On what Christian soldiers marching us to war with the brilliant cross of Jesus? Heavenly love abiding, no change my heart shall fear. Supplementary number three. And this is a request of Mr. Francis Ashite Farah Lincoln for 
his wife now Otofuli Farah Lincoln, for Mr. Joseph Tete, for Owusu Norte, and Mrs. Cornelius Otu. Beloved, this hymn is a reflection of the age-long serenity prayer to God, asking for calmness and peace in all matters of life. The full text, as composed by the American theologian Ramhold Niebuhr, is Grant me, God, the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. The hymn in heavenly love abiding then feeds into the serenity prayer described above, showing total trust and confidence in God, no matter the circumstances. So Anna Leticia Warren declares with the utmost faith in God, the storm may roar without me, my heart may low be laid, but God is round about me, and can I be dismayed? My 
My Savior has my treasure, and he will walk with me. Wonderful prayer. The hymn is in the supplementary nine. Father, I dare believe. This is a request of Desmond Ajete Aje for Mrs. Sethina Sowa, for Mrs. Amina and her daughters, for Na Atre and Na Ayoko. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23 to 25, we have a wonderful story of how a boy with an unclean spirit was healed by our Lord Jesus Christ. His father who brought him confessed that his faith in Jesus was little as he says, I believe, help my unbelief. However much we believe, the strengthening power of the Holy Spirit makes all the difference. Today we join the hymn writer Charles Wesley to say, Father, I dare believe, be merciful and true, yet our faith wavers and can only be strengthened by the Spirit so that we can confidently say, for power I feebly pray, Thy kingdom now restore today, while it is called today, and I shall sin no more. Ancient more than 290 through all the changing scenes of life requested by Filipina Lutrot for Madam Patience Oko and all members of the Mother's Union of the parish of St. Barnabas through all the changing scenes of life. This hymn, through all the changing scenes of life, was composed by Tate and Brady. It resonates with faith in God, 
who holds the future knowing the end from the beginning. The hymn also shows that the praises of God dispel fear and help us to build trust in God. So the psalmist says, I will always give thanks unto the Lord. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Even in the deep challenges of life, we know that we can see light at the end of the tunnel with Christ in the saddle. Let us then continue to trust the Lord, dispelling every fear. Rather, make you his service your delight, and your wants shall be his care.121 requested by Josiah Commodore. Psalm 121 requested by Josiah Commodore for himself, for divine favor choir, for all friends and loved ones. Beloved, Psalm 121 begins with a statement that is replete with hope, even in the fear, in the face of difficulties, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh 
my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. In biblical times, this psalm was recited by pilgrims going to Jerusalem for worship. It is said that the great explorer David Livingston prayed the psalm as he said goodbye to his father before he set out for Africa. There is great comfort and assurance that God watches over us in the psalm. So as we continue our Christian pilgrimage here on earth, let the words of the psalm be our prayer and the Lord will watch over us every step of the way. I will lift up my eyes unto thy hills From where cometh my help My help cometh even from the Lord Who hath made heaven and earth He will not suffer thy foot to be moved And he that keepeth thee will not see Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is thy keeper. The Lord is thy defense upon thy right hand, so that the sun shall not burn thee by day, neither the moon by night. Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Yea, it is even he that shall keep thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end Amen My cherished viewers Sisters and brothers, the St. Barnabas Anglican Church will soon near the castle is pleased to lead you in this program of hymn singing, which is described as stories and scripture behind the hymns. We want to acknowledge our sponsors. We eat foods and legacy foods and thank them for their support. The choir comes back with more hymns, more soul searching hymns that will uphold your spirit. JJJ PH Food is here once again with the best from your local bar for your event or personal consumption. Enjoy palatable delicious drinks like Sobolu, Lamojin, Asana, Palm Wine, Burkina, and many other tasty bits like Agbelekaklo, Adule, Nkati Cake, Condensed Milk Toffee, and many other more. Contact us on 0244-745105. PH Food tastes better always. Oh la la! Legacy Foods is right here for you once again. No need to peel, no need to cut, no need to itch. Just open a bag, add seasoning, fry, and enjoy your crisp fried yam or sweet potatoes. Contact us on 020-563-0220 or 0244-095580. Legacy Foods has a free yam and sweet potato chips. Anyways, welcome back to the hymn singing session, stories 
and scripture behind the hymns. And we come back at this time with the hymn Ancient Reporting 545. Glorious things of thee are spoken, Zion City of our God. Requested by Noreen Quay for the Diocesan Choir, Anglican Diocese of Accra, and also for St. Luke Choir. Glorious things of thee are spoken, Zion City of our God. It is a metaphor for the people of God from, for whom Jesus died. It is also intrinsically linked to the kingdom of God, inaugurated in the person and ministry of Jesus Christ. Beloved, as Christians, we are called by grace to be members of that city, Zion City of God. Plural things are spoken of Zion because her subjects are marked out for eternal salvation. John Newton, the author of the hymn, affirms that there is eternal joy in the city of Zion. So he declares, the worst pleasure will fade away but solid joys and lasting treasure will be given to the children of Zion.
evolved from age to age. The E patient evolved in 604, requested by Pribu Hazel for Irene India and Agnes Beryl Hazel. It is also requested for all fathers, wishing them happy Father's Day. The hand of God has guided that thought from age to age. In Ephesians chapter 4, St. Paul speaks extensively about the unity of the body of Christ. And he calls attention to the fact that Christians everywhere are one. For there is one body and one spirit, one God. One faith, one baptism. Author E. H. Plumper, aware of this fact, submits that the hand of God has guided the church from age to age, uphold and defend the unity of the Christian church. Beloved, as we seek to promote the unity of the church everywhere, let us affirm that indeed we have. One church, one faith, and one Lord. us to the hymn ancient more than 719 be still my soul for God is near requested by Kuku Coleman in memory of his parents who were choristers for over 60 years in the St. Barnabas Anglican Church may their souls rest in perfect peace be still my soul for God is near Beloved Archbishop MacLagan, uh, rises him, be still my soul, for God is near. And it is a reflection on the appearance of the risen Lord 
to the two disciples traveling from Jerusalem to Emmaus on the resurrection day. When they expressed doubts among themselves about the Christ event, Jesus himself drew near and expounded the scriptures for them. Later that evening, the disciples came to know the Lord in the breaking of the bread, a clear indication of the Holy Communion. As we sing, Be still my soul, for God is near, we are pour the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist and pray that as the high priest of our calling, our Lord Jesus Christ, we plead for us in heaven as he gives us his own body to eat. Gentle more than 739. Oh, it is hard to work for God. Requested by Albert Al Hassan for the spiritual support of all church workers of St. Barnabas Anglican Church, Usu. Oh, it is hard to work for God. Beloved, Discipleship is an act of learning from our Lord's commands. And humanly speaking, some of these commands are hard 
to obey. But obedience to the hard commands of our Lord is a mark of Christian identity. So Frederick William Faber, the hymn writer, declares, Oh, it is hard to work for God to rise and take his part. Yet there is work to do, and we do not need we do not need to lose heart in our Christian vocation. Our faith in God is the in the face of all challenges must be real. And we believe with faith in God things will turn around. So stanza four of the hymn says, Work man of God, oh lose no heart, but learn what God is like. And in the darkest battlefield, thou shalt know where to strike. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus did not seek to please himself or 
to override the will of God. Rather, Jesus showed the greatest humility by saying to the Father in prayer, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Matthew 26, 39. Like Jesus, may the will of God be done in all our endeavors. from above the fire celestial to impart the hymn ancient and more than 698 requested by Mr. Joseph William Ni Ama Ashon for the Ashon's family of St. Barnabas Usu for St. John's Anglican Church Udoko for the Bay Saki family and also for all his friends. The hymn 698 is also a request of Mr. Edward Aquilae to all parishioners of St. Barnabas Anglican Church, Usu, 
O thou who camest from above, the fire celestial to impart. Beloved Charles Wesley's hymn, O thou who camest from above, reminds us of the incarnation. In John chapter 1, verse 16, the Bible says, The word became flesh and dwelt among us. And this is where we take the doctrine of the incarnation. One African theologian describes the incarnation in this way. God came and lived in our village, signifying the human situation, high or low, rich or poor. So God showed the deepest love by sending Jesus Christ to live amongst us and to die for our sins. He came with Spirit of God, the Spirit of God from above, to impart to us so many gifts of the Holy Spirit. As we receive the grace of God through the various gifts of the Holy Spirit, may we be helped to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. O oh, thou who camest from above, the fire celestial to impart. Sacrifice will indeed be completed in our lives and so strengthen each one of us for every good work. Hark my soul, it is the Lord, it is thy Savior, hear his word. 
The hymn ancient and modern 260, requested by Shelley of Christ Church, Ligon, for her daughters. She also requests the hymn for Edna, for Shelby, for Akosia, and Sharon. Hark my soul, it is the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, the greatest care we can ever have is that care which emanates from the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Indeed, our human fathers and mothers are helped by God in the care and raising of their children. So God is that operative force behind every human activity. It is the love of God that makes this possible. It is the love of God at work in all humanity, men and women, he created in his image and likeness. So in response to the love of God given freely, let us today with the hymn writer declare, Lord, it is my chief complaint that my love is weak and faint. Yet I love thee and adore. Oh, for grace to love thee more. Speaks to thee, said was the last of me. I delivered thee when bound and when bleeding healed thy wound, so the wandering sets thee right, then thy darkness into light. Methodist Hymn Book 80, requested by Atu Asan for his parents and siblings and friends. 
especially echo Kedi and Quason and Christabel D will I praise with all my heart Beloved Charles Wesley's hymn D will I praise with all my heart draws the curtain on today's hymn singing session The greatest prayer is the prayer of praise and thanksgiving for God's love and support to us there is a prayer that gives thanks to God for all his mercies and love and the psalmist says let the people praise thee o god yea let all the people praise thee then the earth shall give her increase and god even our own god shall give us his blessings so we pray for god's blessings as we praise him and proclaim to the world that he has manifold gifts to give to us. Thee will I praise with all my heart and tell mankind how good thou art. sisters and brothers thank you for being a part of our story today our story expressed in him singing to the praise and glory of the almighty god thank you for your patronage 
And special thanks go to our sponsors, PH Foods and Legacy Foods, all in Accra. We wish you God's speed, God's grace and mercy as we leave you here in the hope that next Sunday, God willing, we shall meet again for another session of stories and scriptures behind the hymns. And until then, let us take this opportunity to wish all men a happy Father's Day. God bless you all. And now unto the King, eternal, invincible, the only wise God, we ascribe honor, majesty, dominion, and power forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.